You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I get to do the Crayola Marker Maker. We just did the Crayon Maker in a recent video, so check down in the description for a playlist of the other Crayola products. And from that, we probably had 100 people ask us to do the Marker Maker, so we got it in here. We also got the bonus refill pack, just so that you know you can get that, and... Probably if you're going to buy the marker maker, you should just get the refill pack so you have it. And the toy can last longer. You can do more with it. So let me move this pack out of the way. But it does come with all these accessories here that you see here. It says 12 barrels, plugs and caps, 12 cores and tips, 12 marker labels, 2 marker boxes, and then 3 ink bottles, red, blue, and yellow. So that's all included in that. And then here is the actual marker maker. And I'm a little uh, unsure exactly what this thing does. I was kind of reading the outside of the box. It's still sealed, so I haven't even gone in it. And I'm kind of just uh, going solo and blind here as to exactly what it does and how it works. I was kind of looking at it. You've got these little measuring tubes where you mix certain colors based on this color chart. It's kind of neat the way they did the graphics here. It almost looks like the Crayon Maker box where you have like a little science lab going on here, little machines. And right there it tells you, mix, measure, click. Hmm. Pretty neat. Let me open it up for the first time and make some markers. I might have to... Now yeah, let's just leave the camera down that level. Because, you know, once you get all these bags and pieces and parts, there's our colors. Pretty neat. And... There's an insert in there, see? The main unit, how cool is that? Some pieces, and then the instructions and sheets and stuff, all kinds of stuff. Crayola Marker Maker, pretty neat. I don't even know how uh, this thing opens yet, so I'm gonna have to learn all that, figure it out. So let me get it all, let me get it all out of the plastic, get some things set up, and we'll go over the instructions next. All right, I've got everything out of the packaging, all set to go. I sorted some things out, put everything uh, kind of on the table here so you could see it. And I'll start moving some things away so we can get to the main unit. And I can show you how that comes apart. Now, here is the color guide I had talked about. And it basically will give you parts. Because you got to get to 15 on the measuring cup there. And it'll tell you, if you want all blue, then you fill it to 15. If you want this color, which is kind of going into the teals and the greens, then you follow this. It's 12 blue, up to 12 on the blue, and then three more on the yellow to make the 15. So that's how this color chart works, and then you can make all of these colors, all right? So we'll set that off to the side. Here is the marker label. So you would write the color of the marker you just created and put that on the marker, so we don't need that. And then here are the Crayola marker boxes. So these will unfold and allow you to actually, you can color and decorate this and then make the boxes to store your markers in. And then our colors, okay? We have the red, the yellow, and the blue. So that's what you get with this kit. And then what I did here was I just pre-sorted out all the different component pieces that are gonna make the marker. And there's a cup there where I put the longer pieces in. Because you'll see here is the, the actual marker lid. Here is the end cap, which is going to go on there. And then this is going to go, excuse me, sorry, reversing that. Going to go in here. And you'll see that process. But I just wanted to sort out the pieces because ultimately we're making a Crayola marker. And it does have the same size cap. I was just comparing it. Pretty much the same size center section, just designed a little bit differently with the end on it. But as you can see, when you put the cap on it, so that's what you have. So basically, this is what we're going for, but on our own. It's kind of neat. They're clear so you can see inside. So now how do we get all of these pieces into our storage unit? So let's get that all out of the way. Now they also did give you a warning here. And the warning was, make sure your surface, protect all surface and clothing, because... Uh, it will stain and then all color combinations must add up to 15 Secure measuring tubes and mixing tray rinse and dry measuring tubes between each use and then cap ink bottles after use and storage So basically now it's this row the setup we need to get to because 
all of the pieces I set aside get stored in this unit. So the first thing they say is to get the handle on. So let me show you that. Now, if you look at the handle back here, there's these pins in here, and those, they say, just slide in. So now that is on, okay? And that's what holds the whole unit together, which is kind of neat. Little gears in there. It says marker maker there. The back, nothing on the back. And the bottom is actually a tray, I'll show you that. So now, we want to take out the storage tray. So it says push on each side, which is the next thing. And we're gonna do that. You see them on the side here? So you push that out, and then that. So there is stuff, a uh, place to store stuff underneath the unit. And then, now to get the front off, you're gonna lift this up, okay? And then pull this down, and you see your tweezers are in there, and your mixing tray. And that's how you open this up now to get your measurers out, measuring cups, okay? and your tweezers, because you're gonna need those. Now I just noticed too, these these lock in, okay? But let's make sure we know exactly how to do that. Probably you want that in front, there you go. So if you notice on the bottom of this, there's that extra little lip. So I put that just to the uh, left of the first lock, and now it's in front of me like this, so now I'm ready to actually make things. All right, so. Storage area. Let's take a look at this. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So it looks like all the tubes now and pieces are going to go in these sections. And then our measuring cups get stored here. So it's all laid out pretty nice. So I'll tell you what, let me get it all set up. Try to get all the pieces in there and I'll show you that next. Alright, so I'm all set here. Ooh, let me twist this just a little. And this is... Uh, Kind of how I set it up. I looked at the box to actually get an idea. They don't tell you where you need to put everything or if you have to put everything in there. That's just the way I did it. There was room on this other side. I didn't put anything. But they did say when you start, make sure both lids are down. Then here's that other storage tray. So we'll work out of this tray. Kept some pieces in there because now we are actually going to get the machine set up. So the first step is to, following the instructions now, Press one nib into the narrow end of a marker barrel. So we're on actually step six. All right. So we get a marker barrel, get it out of my other tray, and take one nib, and you're going to push that in part way. Now I was looking at the regular marker, and you'll see why. Because once it's pressed in completely, then it will actually be all the way inserted. And that's what this machine actually does. It's going to press it in the place. So let's do that. And then it says, place the barrel, nib down into the well. So there is where we're actually going to be pressing and filling our marker. So make your marker. That's next. We're all set up, as you can see, ready to go. It's time to make the marker. So let me do some adjusting here. Let me get my measures in here. Probably the most exciting part, right? Let me see if I can get us. There we go, a little better, and I can turn up when I fill. So let me pick a color. And I think I want to do, let me just make sure now. That is the next step. Yes, place measuring tubes in the mixing tray wells. Carefully pour each color into tube. All right, now we're gonna need our tweezers. I don't know if I showed you the tweezers. Let me get these here. These tweezers are meant to hold this piece so that you can uh, soak up the marker and then put it in the top of the unit. So we'll have to do some readjusting there. So for now, I think I'm going to pick, let's see, I kind of like this nine parts yellow. So fill nine and then six parts red. So I'm going to go to nine with the yellow. Okay. Let's do it. Ooh, it's like a science experiment. Okay, so there's nine parts yellow and six parts red. So let's go to the 15. Remember, always go to the 15.
Now it doesn't say you need to mix it or do anything else after that. Then the next step, the next step, it says using your tweezers gently lower core, they call them the core, into the measuring tube. Allow core to sit until all ink is absorbed. Then when measuring tube is empty, transfer core to the marker barrel. Use tweezers to gently push core down into the barrel. Then insert the plug, so we'll get to that. So let me just put my core in so you can watch that now. And let me do an adjustment here. As you can see, that's soaking up now. And I'm just going to do one until I'm a little more comfortable with the unit. Now it looks like that's all out of there now. Okay, so the next step is to transfer that now. Clear some things out. Of course I'm going to make more, but for now, I just want to get the concept down. So now transfer core to the barrel and then push core down into the barrel. So let's do that. Okay. All right, done. Then insert plug, close side up. So I had some extra plugs here. See the plug? Close side up. Kind of got to get it to go around the, the core. All right, I don't know if it's supposed to go in there. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Halfway, all right, that's the next step. Then pull handle forward and press down firmly on the marker. You will hear two, snap, uh, two to three snaps. Make sure the plug and nib are fully inserted. So here is the pressing part. So I'm gonna do it. One, two, yeah, I heard it. So now let me pull it out. And see, now you can tell, like I showed you earlier, against an original crayon. Okay, excuse me, Crayola marker. That is perfectly seated in there. So now they want this too. So the last step, there was a last step. Hold it in our, let's see. I got too excited there. Cap the marker and stand upright inside the lid for one to two minutes. Okay, see, there's a nice storage there. So let me go and make another one. Now that I'm understanding the principles here. All right. So let's pick another color here. Let's do the nine parts blue, six parts yellow. So blue, nine parts blue. Okay, and there was the rest, so you got to go to 15 for the yellow. Then to give us that greenish, turquoisey color. And as you can tell now, I'm already understanding the process. Let me get this set, remember now, halfway in. Okay. And then stick it in the unit. Okay, so that's set. We'll set this in there and you can watch that soak up. I'm gonna get ready with my cap. That's really neat. And it soaks up pretty quick there, so it's not too long. I could probably go take these, wash these, and keep going. Make a whole bunch of colors. So let me take my tweezers. Actually, let me get an adjustment here. So you can see again. It's me going into the unit. So I'm going to take this now. Stick it in. Push it down. Insert this. Okay. And then again, the clicks. You're going to hear the clicks. Right, and there is another one. They say make sure everything's seated right, looks good. Put a lid on it, and then set it for one to two minutes. Now, if you look at our red, it's already moved its way up close to the tip. All right, so it's almost there. 
So let me uh, let me do this. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go wash these and make a few more. Okay, I am back. So I've washed and cleaned them out, and I'll tell you, it was pretty easy to clean. There was no issues. It didn't stain my sink in any way. So now I'm going to make. I like this pink. So it's three yellow, twelve red. So let me get my yellow in here. I'm going to tell you now, my kids are going to love this. Because it's uh, it's fun. You're kind of, what was that? Ooh, three yellow and the 12 red. So the red's got to go all the way up to the 15. I don't know, it's just kind of neat to see the process of something being made. Okay, so there you go. Now remember, take your cartridge there. And while that's doing that, let me make a, let me make a, let me see, a three red, a three red, and a 12 blue, okay? I'm going to do that on this side. Three red, and a 12 blue, so I'm going to go up to the 15 here. Looks like the other one's full, so you gotta just keep working. Don't stop. Well, in total, we'll have four different marker colors. Okay, let me put that in there. So, of course, now I need to get my station all set up here. Take another. I'll just make two, so I can go back to back. Press and move and press and move like a little marker factory there. Now take this. Got stuck that time. Come on. There we go. Okay. Put the cap in place. Press down. Clicks. There's my next one. Put the lid on it. Set it in my tray, and then now this one's set, put it in. You kind of, you have to build that confidence with something like this. That's why, at first, I'm a little nervous when I start these kinds of makers, sets, because, you know, you have to get comfortable with it. Put that on. Okay. Here we go. Clicks. Nicely sealed. And those are there. I'm going to clean up one more time now. And then uh, I'm going to draw my board here. See my board? It's like a poster board. That's what I did it on. Eh. Because I want to show you all four colors. So I'm going to let the video run a little bit here. You could watch those actually move their way up to the tip. The two that are left. And, uh, you know, I'll edit some of it out, but... We'll let you see that process. All right, so I took the lids off so you can see it a little bit better. Um, now it's moving up to the tip a little more on the red, but it's not really red. I think we did pink on that one, closer to a pink color. So while that's happening, now remember, I have my marker boxes. So I'm going to push that to the back because i got some time now to actually get my boxes ready and my colors. That's the neat thing about it. It's like you get the complete thing. You get everything you need to make the whole set. So, one of our colors was a teal, and I think it was this one here. So I am going to write teal. Yeah, it's like a teal green. How perfect is that? Look at that. Teal. Now let's see. Any particular way to put it on the marker? That's what I need to see. Ooh, two stuck together. Let's see what they show you. It kind of shows you covering the entire marker, but maybe it's lengthwise. Maybe they want it this way.
There's teal. There you go. See, there's my teal. Now let me just draw that. But it's more like a green, so it wasn't officially teal. That works really good. And then I had this uh, next color. Let's see. We'll call that orange. So I'm going to write orange. Orange, you glad. Nice. Let me get that on here. I'm thoroughly happy with this set. Just like the Crayon Maker set. Very useful and practical. Okay. Now this one here was ready, but I need to get my lid back on it. And this one we went with the pink. And I would say it is pretty close to pink. Maybe close, it has more red in it, but we're going to call it pink. Oops. pink on, put my pink on, and the last one was this bluish, so it's not officially ready. As you can see, it's still not completely moved up to the top, but now I can put three in my box. How's that? See how it sits in there? And you can probably decorate your box, too. And color this in real nice. How is that? How cool is that? Totally cool. Let's, you know what, let's grab the original one and just see. And it writes very much the same See the color there? Pretty neat, huh? Well, I'm happy. I'm happy because it all worked out great, and as you could tell, as I figured it out, I got better. And I can see just cleaning, you cleaning your tubes, wash them, come back in, make more colors, and you can fill them up really fast, and then have plenty of drawing and coloring time, because that's the best thing. You're making something to do more so that you can do artwork and stuff like that. So again, uh, as always, check that description. You'll see a page on our website where you can get this item or get more information about it. We do appreciate you watching. We also put playlists in the descriptions or search our channel for Crayola later. If you want to see more videos in this series, check the description, search the channel, or click here. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.